Oh, are you shitting me right now? You fucking... You persisted? That's illegal. That's gotta be... No, no, no. That's illegal. Don't do that. Just heck off, Mr. Antlion Charger. Who the fuck do you think you are coming into my house? This fucking guy. Icker is better than Cursed Flames. I can acknowledge that, certainly. I need to make a better... a better swingy boy. And by that I mean pickaxe. So I guess we'll start building our happy little stilt town. Cause I like houses on stilts, cause they're, you know, zombie resistant, which is what you like. We could also make underground town, which is an option. I do like jungle. Jungle is one of my favorite biomes. You know, maybe today is a sucky day, but maybe you just have to find what makes today work. Joe, did you chase off? You chase away the antlion? No, you didn't. That ant lion, he's hungry for blood. He will accept nothing short of absolute murder. Now he's leaving, but he'll be back. Moon Illusions. What up, my dude? Are we safe yet? Kind of want to make wizard doors everywhere. Which is a very cool trick. That's kind of a physics exploit that I could show you. Oh. I could grapple tech out of this hole if I had a grappling hook, which I don't. Whatever, man. Okay, well, we made it back today. We made it back today. What are we gonna do today? I'd make some houses. Redistribute the sunflowers? Because you only need so many sunflowers. We'll put some, like, uh, we'll put one over here. There we go. Very cool. Oh, you just beat the game. Good for you. Which reminds me, I have still have no idea how to get to the credits. I beat the Moon Lord, but I don't think there's a credits roll after the Moon Lord. So I, I legitimately don't know how to get to the credits. Oh, killed a butterfly. Happens. Okay, let's get started on our happy little still town. There's gotta be credits. Every game has credits. In a game like this that's been in development for a hundred years, they most certainly gotta have credits. would make sense if they didn't. Where's my axe? Where's my axe? And my axe. Not every game. I mean, it seems like 
it's such a ubiquitous and useful convention that I would be hard pressed to explain why you wouldn't have credits. You know what I like? I like Terraria Man, his arm swings. It has three distinct little animation phases. And I think that's very cute. I think that's a very cute game design. Am I streaming tomorrow? No, not tomorrow. What day is today? Tuesday. No, I'll be at it again on Thursday. Jimmy died like 18 times to slime since he played an expert. I didn't get mad. The first time you play it, it's exciting. Because, first of all, when did he play it? Did he play it on stream? Did I miss that? But secondly, the first time you play it, it's a wide world full of adventure. Like me, I'm acclimated to normal mode. I'm acclimated to things being pleasant and simple and not getting murdered by slimes 18 times in a row. So to me, who is currently acclimated to not being murdered by slimes, being murdered by slimes that many times in a row would be infuriating. Hell, I only died like four times to Pinky and that was enough to just about send me over the edge. But like Jimmy has no context for how easy or difficult the game is supposed to be. So it's different for him. Oh, we can make a furnace. I'm totally into that. Um, don't forget to replant. Um... I will move some of these sunflowers. For more trees. Is Terraria on Switch? Does it have all the, the patches on it? I know that there's been disconnect between, you know, the mobile and desktop versions of Terraria. Wasn't sure if they had cleaned that up or not. Hmm. Hmm. I see. Mobile is getting the final update soon. Okay, then. Hey, look, I found a slime with the bomb in it. And it's only going to take me, like, you know, a reasonable number of... A reasonable number of hits to kill. See? And that's satisfying. I don't have the patience for epic battles with a slime. It's just not where I am in my Terraria life. I want short, crisp battles. Console board is having some problems. Hmm. Yeah. Probably... Uh, when Journey's End ships, it'll probably be like... The Switch certification process is slower than the other consoles. So, it'll probably hit the other consoles. It'll hit... It'll hit... P... 
PC, and it might hit the regular mainstream consoles at the same time, but then it will hit Switch a couple weeks or a month later. So, those of you playing on Switch will have to wait longer for the last update. I believe that is how it's going to work. There's a lot of updates that the Switch just gets late because the Switch's certification process is longer and more intense. Comes to the territory. Okay. Start building. And maybe we'll add, uh... Generally, I'm not... I don't fancy myself a master architect. Generally, I don't bother with things like... You know, like fancy roofs. Or, you know, any roof other than the, the bare minimum required. Also, here's a fun fact for you. A workbench is a table for the purposes of uh, NPC housing. Okay, we'll give him just a little, just a little roof. I need a hammer for that. Hold on. That's uh, that's actually not going to work at all. I need this to be further out. Yeah, I need that to be further out. It's just better that way. Let me kill the slimes that get in our way. And we make some doors. Two doors for now, more doors later. And we fill in this inner space. Give him a torch, and now suitable housing. Genius. Uh, I still didn't make a hammer. Hold on. More housing. More hammer. The range is terrible, but can I make a copper hammer? Do I have enough copper junk for that? Let's throw down the furnace and find out. Let's make some copper bars. Also make some mithril. Excuse me, tungsten. Mithril is much later. We have a little bit of tungsten. I don't have a box yet. I can make a box though. I guess we're gonna make a box. Yep. Uh, we'll lay down that sunflower over here somewhere. No, actually, we're not losing the buff. That's good. We're not losing the buff. Don't, don't worry about it. Do you need this chest, though? Okay, so now... Gone are the days of gold stacking. We are better now. I guess I'll make some mana crystals, because nothing else I could use my shooting stars for is quite as meaningful right now. We have some bombs, which we will want to keep, because they will summon a demolitionist. Who's a very useful lad to have. How much... How much iron do we have? Let's make an anvil. Genius. And now we can make a... Oh, fuck. The copper hammer also has poor range. Well, that's unfortunate. That's rather unfortunate. All right, what can we make for bars? 
one gold bar. Sure. I plan on playing a ranged character. I like guns. Normally, I don't bother constraining myself to uh, to classes. I just kind of throw on whatever armor and equipment works and worry about theme if it comes up. Generally, I find myself using the melee armor because it has the best defense, and then using whatever equipment happens to be <laughs> good. Um, but that's what I do on expert. On normal, I feel more free to explore class archetypes, like Shooty Man. Shooty Man is a good class archetype. Well, we can replace our wooden bow with an iron bow. I'm into that. I'm into that a lot. Although we could save up for a tungsten bow. Just need a little more tungsten. Tricky. Yeah, yeah, you do get better buffs. Yeah, like if you're wearing... If you're wearing gunner armor, you get gunner boosts. And if you're wearing melee armor, you get melee boosts. I'm familiar. Bone armor. I don't know much about bone armor. That's, uh, you get that in... That's made of bones from the dungeon denizens. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Okay. We need more boxes. So currently, I cannot afford a better... Cannot afford a better... You know what? Hold on. Before we get too in the spaghetti. I want to make a cool... I want to make a, like a bunker. I want to make a loot bunker. I love making loot bunkers. Where should the loot bunker go? Um, here. Loot bunker goes here. Groundwork. Where we lay up some walls. We want a high ceiling for our loot bunker, actually. Three. That butterfly got in my way and died. Pretty tragic. Tragic, but it happens. I guess we want to go right over our heads. Yeah, that's the one. Okay then. So now we have a rudimentary loot bunker, and we can start renaming the chest. So this one will be metal. And that's the way you want to do it. Just all the metal. I'll organize it later when it's actually relevant. And this one probably will make valuables, like, just call it valuables. That, I spelled that wrong. Valuables. Not value bills. So then, that's where you put your money, your gems, your rare junk like pink gel. Your... I'm gonna need another box for night owl potions and junk like that. Um, I guess we should also start making junk boxes. Hold on, do we have enough metal to spare for junk boxes? Start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so to get the dimensions right, one, two. 
three, four, five, six. Good. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, if the opportunity presents itself to make some bone armor, then we will get bony with it. Um, I guess I will put... Yeah. Okay, so currently the loot bunker is a, a rudimentary structure. But, uh... Uh, and we're out of we're out of wood. Hold on. More wood walls. Many wood walls. Good. So that's the start to a loot bunker. Get bony with it. Absolutely. And for what it's worth, we can also put our silver in here and keep him over here. Yes. Our, our guide got himself trapped in here. God damn it. God damn it, guide. Fine, I'll make a staircase. Okay, he has rudimentary climbing ability, so he's got that going for him at least. And then you go like that, and like that. And now he can climb his way out. No problem. No problem. Okay, so... I've not seen any easy downward paths. Which is, I don't know, I could dig down from here. I could dig straight down from my home. Just, just burrow into the earth. I don't want to go into the antlion den, and I'm not really interested in going over the antlion den. So, I guess we can just go back to Iceland. There's probably some good stuff in Iceland. Uh, let's see, how is our armor? If we made some copper armor, would that be better? It takes a lot of metal to make it's a lot of metal, and it's not necessarily all that great. All right, let's make more boxes. Oh, they don't actually take much iron at all. Let's make some boxes. Alright, so this we'll name junk, and we'll put uh, weird stuff in it that I might want later and might not, like pressure plates and tombstones for decoration. Uh, now eventually all these things will find their own categories, like the statue will go into a statue box, the uh, pressure plate and the dart trap will go into a mech box, but that's the future, and now is not the future, because now is now. Keep that bomb, because I like bombs. Um, oh yeah, valuables go here. Uh, acorns are acorns. Whatever, you know. Have I planted new saplings? Probably should. Probably finish planting up some saplings.
Good. Okay, so I guess... Have a wander. You know what? Just jump over the Eskimo. Too much trouble. Not worth it. I'm gonna go back down into the mine. We could also go over there. You know what? I'm interested. digging. You can almost make the Onk Shield, but you're not going to use it. You know, I usually, I make and use the Onk Shield just because, like, it exists for a reason. It's, uh, you know, it's a very strong quality of life upgrade. It gives you a little defense. It gives you a little defense and gives you practical immunity to... Almost all common maladies. Poison. I don't think it. I'm not sure it protects against chill. It protects against slow, but not chill. But it's like, it's good. Hmm. It's, uh. I couldn't tell you how good it is, because I've never gone without it. I've made it pretty much on every playthrough. Hmm. Yeah. It depends on... If you like the dash, then you like the dash. Personally, I find the dash can be more trouble than it's worth. Like, if you're you're trying to do a lot of, like, careful back-and-forth dodging. And, you know, and then the shield activates, and you just yeet in a direction, and you didn't want to yeet in that direction. So moments like that will happen. Which is why I find I generally drop the Shield of Cthulhu at some point. Much of it will come down to personal preference, but, you know, which isn't, which isn't to say it all comes out in the wash, but rather that sometimes it depends on what you're interested in. These are a couple of nice statues, but I don't know if I'm really in the business for collecting statues. I'll take this keg, though. That's a woman statue. Nah. Nah. 
take this chest statue because they're very useful. They create mimics, which have some purpose. Okay, and here we go with an ice blade. Ice blade is a nice blade. We also get a little bit of money and a recall potion. Which is just hunky dory for me. Iron never stops being useful. I especially like to stockpile iron because rail tracks are made of iron. You can't make a rail line without iron. a little pocket of dirt in the middle of ice. What am I looking at here? I kind of want to collect this copper ore because it's copper ore. Because it's, it's ore, you know? It can be used to make metal. But at the same time... Copper becomes outmoded for any purpose other than aesthetic purposes pretty fast. Nothing is ever really outmoded from an aesthetic standpoint because, you know, if, if you have a build and you think it needs some copper plating or copper brick, then there's really no substitute. But for practical purposes, its use is limited. I have done a build or two with, with copper bricks, and they are nice. Oh, it's so nice. See, now we're picking up. Now we have an ice blade. An ice blade dabs. It dabs hardcore. We like that. Ooh, iron. Good. I feel there's something more. Is that a pip of stone I'm looking at, or is that iron? No, that's more iron. Good. Yeah. Feels good. Alright. I think we're done. Oh shit, I'm falling down. I suppose I should get a glow stick. Excuse, excuse me.
Hmm. Oh. Just add a little animal moment. If you live in proximity to animals, you're going to have some animal moments. I am going to want a grappling hook at some point. Where are my platforms? Do I have platforms? Sixteen, okay. Okay, so we can go down from here. It's kind of more cavernous over there. I think we'll keep digging, actually. That makes sense. Just keep digging. opening. Good. Good. Looks like more copper up there. Some of the mining is a little bit slow. Kind of a slow plotting methodical experience. Hello, beans. Hello and welcome T to a normal difficulty play through of Terraria, where we do things on normal mode and not expert mode, because why would you do expert mode? People have their reasons. It's a good mode. It's a good mode, it's just not for everyone all the time. You know, sometimes you want to follow the natural graceful arc, you know, the, the graceful arcs of the terrain. And sometimes you just want to dig a hole straight to where you're going. And uh, currently we're in the ladder camp. Manka, but it's okay. Just gotta be a little bit careful. Son of a bitch. Fucking bats. How far down does that go? That just... It just keeps going. goes down a long way, apparently. Okay, then. Sure, why not?
we'll add to our dart trap collection. Ooh, nice. Some spider webs. Been looking for been looking for a good cache of spider webs. I think we're at the right height to find <laughs> AKA elevators. Yep. I think we're at the right height to find the right depth, I suppose is the correct word. To find uh, giant spiders. So giant spider nests are very good for death by spider, if that's what you're into. But, more importantly... Spider silk. Yeah. I, I was telling I was telling the stream earlier, Beans, that, you know, everyone else is playing Terraria, and now it, it made me want to play Terraria. So now we're, we all want to play Terraria. I didn't ask for this, I just, I've, I've, I've played an important part in it, but, you know, we're all in this together. I was basically forced to play this, yes, that's, that's correct, my hand was essentially forced. All the nostalgic memories, crusted though they were. Oh, fuck. You know what? Fuck that guy. Fuck, yeah. Yeah, you heard me, Spiked Slime. Fuck you, you big jerk. <laughs> okay, well. Well, hello, Sanks TV. Sanks TV. Slash moon illusion. What do you want me to what do you want me to call you by? We got we got options. Okay, I, I gotta dab on this guy. Dab successful. Sinks. That'll do. So it looks like we've reached the bottom. There's amethyst down there. I wouldn't want to turn that down. You know what? I'll drop a glow stick. Just so we're clear. Oh no, don't don't die of no air. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, oh nice depth meter. I'm into it. Oh, I wanted to put this over here. Okay, it's right click to assign it. Nice. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, it's Terraria season. And all the Terrarians are out in force. Me? Me, I need a better pickaxe. The age-old story. Iron wouldn't be terrible. It would have better range, at least. But, there's always that chance that if I dig a little further down, I find an ice mirror. Now, it's not given. Ow. Don't do that, Mr. Slush. Very rude. Ah, oh, there's that tungsten. There's that tungsten I wanted. But yeah, this uh, this game inspires very gambler-like feelings, where you say, "Oh, I just, you know, just another minute. Just, uh, I'll just find one more little chest, and that'll be fine." But no. That last chest is never satisfying. 
Because even after you get the last chest, no, then you want an encore. Then you're you're just you're high on victory, and you're thinking, yes, I'm gonna find something else. And, just, and this game can eat away at your time very quickly. Which, honestly, part of why it's a good game, you know, it's the the role that plays is not to be understated. All right, time to dig straight down. Suddenly it's 3 a.m. and darn, I forgot to sleep. Absolutely. Oh, we have a depth meter. It tells us how far down we are. Very cool. Uh, is this spooky? Oh, it's spooky time. We found it. We found it, boys! Okay, well. So... Um... Oh, Jesus, they're so... they're so creepy. Um... Yeah, throw that in there. Gross. Dramatically and profoundly gross. Yeah, this will work, though. I know that, uh... Hard mode spiders are extremely brutal. I don't think early game spiders are quite that brutal. They're, you know, it's, uh... It's a worthwhile endeavor to give them your respect, certainly. I guess we'll do that, and we'll just run the rope down. And I guess we're gonna melee this guy. And that's gonna go about as well as it can. He does a little bit of damage. It's a significant amount of damage. But it's not the worst thing. Um, and we want to break these little, break these little things, because they get in the way. So I am an expert fights. I am an experienced spider silk farmer. So I know how to handle this biome for maximum yield. And you start by harvesting the tungsten. More or less. Um, what you want to do is, because the spider webs will only show up within a few spaces of a brick, you want to place a brick down. Just place a few bricks periodically to ensure, you know, that the cave is maximally populated. with spider cobwebs. All right, so the ideal is probably about here. Yep. Because my pickaxe is so weak, I have a little trouble, well, a little little trouble producing the kind of meaningful change that I am interested in. God, you know what? Fuck okay. it. Okay. Now we continue to harvest. Break a few of these things. I forget. There's someone you find. There's someone you find in a spider cave, but I, f I think it's the stylist. The early game one is the stylist. Looks like there's more. 
Yeah, it looks like there's more. Yep, there's some more creepy boys. They're creepy. They're creepy and they're boys. And good grief, there's a lot of them. But luckily, it looks like we have the upper hand. So it ain't no thing. Ooh. Looks like we have a nice open cave here that we can farm very maximally. Okay, so these guys... You know what? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I didn't think he could reach me. Very scary moment. Extremely monka. Okay, chase me. I believe in you. God, they're so clumsy. Fine, don't chase me. Damn weirdo heathens. Okay, they're notoriously bad at chasing. Who'd have thought? Throw a glow stick down there. Just for a little persistent sight. You learn to handle the glow sticks well over time, just as a matter of business. Uh. Okay, just, you know, some skeleton sounds in the background. Another glow stick. Ooh, spooky. That's, that's a lot of cobweb. This is a big spider house. Extremely sizable spider house. I guess what I want to do is something like this. And then we'll put some little some little knobs on the side so I can climb. And we'll clear away the detritus. One, because look, I don't need a spider house full of weird skulls and dead bodies and things. Like, I get that it's some people's aesthetic, but, like, personally. Personally, I like a clean spider house. What are we looking at so far? 179. Looks good. Okay, so for this one, something like this. Oh, no, I'm trapped. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't fall down there. I don't know what's down there. Don't fall down there. Ouch. Okay. Safety railing. Safety first, everyone. Safety first. Okay, probably do this. Yeah, for easy traversal. And we'll put a lamp in the corner. Okay, so I want to put put a bridge across. Okay, you know what? You're welcome for the stream, Mr. Paw. And thank you for being around with your nice, cheery disposition. And I'll catch you later. Okay, there's another spider. Watch your step. There's more spiders. Watch your step times more. Ah. 
super nice that we found that ice blade. It's making this a much more manageable experience. Out of your spooky spider detritus. We've used up all our torches. Again, we do that a lot. We're gonna have to go home and find farm some slime pretty soon. We are running out of slime for torches. We're running out of rope, too. Uh, when we get back home, we'll probably want to do something in the name of... I'm falling. Well, you know, embrace the chaos sometimes. And it looks like we might have explored the whole cave. That's exciting. Potential. Unlocking the maximum potential of your spider cave. You want to start, you know, you just start, it starts with a nice clean spider cave. Is there more? Am I looking at more in the bottom left here? Nope, that's just water. Okay, well. Alright, so the creepy boys are dangerous. You want to give him the due respect. And also steal their tungsten. Definitely steal their tungsten. Probably not the most respectful thing you could do, but at some point, you know, just I just stop caring. Okay, so right here, then we go up. Yeah, yeah, that seems right. And there's one last little alcove, yet unplundered. And then that looks like just about everything. Um, and one goes up there. And that's nice and simple. Now we have a spider cave that we can come back to for more spider silk anytime. It's well lit and with not an extreme amount of dangers and we have a stylist. Well, hello stylist. I was just talking about you. What are the odds? Don't die to spiders by the way. If you, I'm kind of, I'm going to need you to get back home without dying to spiders. That's not too much to ask.
All right, so let's look at the map. And I guess I'm going back home so I can build more dwellings. Build more dwellings, get better equipment, etc., etc. And after that, I think we're headed to the... Probably to the jungle, because... I love the jungle. What the... Oh, those are valuables up there. Heck, dude. Well, I'll get... I'll use a little bit of strategy to get them. Diamonds. You don't say. What else is up here? You know what? Replace that to make it safer. Digging upwards is a little bit tricky. You kind of, you adapt over time. Well, that's nice. I like iron. Definitely. Mm. It's so nice to like things. Instead of, you know, not liking them. Because, oh boy, I like normal. Much more than I like other difficulties. Okay, so real talk. Master mode is going to be fun to watch. I don't know how fun it is to be... I don't know how fun it's going to be to play, but... Frankly, that's not my problem. You might think that's a little short-sighted, but at the same time, hey, no one's making him play it. Except, you know, being compelled by popularity and also, you know, a desire to be part of the cultural zeitgeist and to play that thing that everyone else is playing and to be part of the review culture and, you know. So, I guess what I mean to say is that they are trapped in the same cultural miasma that I am, and I have no sympathy for them. I didn't know there was there would be a creative mode. That sounds very interesting. Look at this guy. Oh, this ice slime. He stands no chance. Immediately dabbed on. No chance. All right. Our stylist is going to live down there until she has somewhere to move into. So let's build her a house. Bloobers. Bloobers. Journey mode. Interesting. Huh. 